Hey, Mark Rice here, and before we start, I just want to thank you because you are supporting my work and you watching this. This will be a beautiful experience for you and you will learn a lot, I promise. So enjoy. Peace. Okay, so let's start. But before we start, we need to import a file. So go here into project tab, click with the right mouse button, import and select file. Here select the illustration and hit import button. Choose composition and layer size and click OK. Cool. As you can see now I got my composition so I need to double click on it. And that's it. OK. I need 8 frames for this animation. OK, so before I start with the animation I need to move some anchor points and parent the right shape. So let's do it. OK. First select the head. Then go here and select pen behind tool. Then move this anchor point here. And do the same with the ears. Okay. Cool. Now I need to parent the right shapes. For example, the ears will be paired with the head, the head with the body and the legs will be paired with the body as well. So select the ear 1 layer together with the ear 2 layer and parent these layers with the head. Parent the head with the body and the legs with the body as well. And now we are ready for the real animation. So first I will start with the body. So select the body layer and hit P on the keyboard. Now I have my position settings and here on the first frame I will create the first keyframe. So hit this icon here and I just created the first keyframe. Ok, on the fourth frame I will create another keyframe and here I need to down body a bit. Ok, and in the last frame I will copy the first keyframe. Ok, cool. If you want a smooth animation, just select the keyframes and hit F9 on the keyboard. Ok, the next step will be ears. So close this layer here, select the ear 1 layer, hit R on the keyboard and create the first keyframe. It will be minus 4. The second keyframe will be 4. And here I will copy the first keyframe. Ok, cool. I will do the same with the second ear. But here instead minus 4 will be 4. Here instead 4 will be minus 4. Oops, sorry, I need to create the keyframes. Ok, so here will be 4, then minus 4 and 4. Select the keyframes and hit F9. <laughs> ok, cool. Now head. So select the head layer. Hit R on the keyboard. And create the first keyframe. It will be minus 4. The second will be 4. And the last one will be minus 4 as well. F9. <laughs> ok, not bad, but I will improve it. I just need to move this layer a bit. But before that I need to create a loop for it. Click with the stopwatch icon. Go here. Then property and select loop out. Ok, cool. Now I can move it. <laughs> ok, beautiful. Ok. And now legs, so select front legs together with the back legs. 
hit P on the keyboard and create the first keyframes. Okay. Now go on the fourth frame. Uh, I will zoom it a bit. And move the legs to the right. Okay, something like this. And this is the tricky part. You need to swap this keyframe. Then I will copy the first keyframe. Select the keyframes, hit F9. And for now, I have animation like this. Okay. But I will finish it if I select the front legs layer and move the legs a bit. Something like this. And I will do that with the back legs, but on the second frame. Something like this. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. And the last step will be the grass. So, go here, zoom it. Select the grass layer and create the first keyframe. Hit P on the keyboard and create it. Okay. Then go on the eighth frame and move grass a bit. Okay. Something like this. Okay, but try to create the same position on the first and on the last keyframe. We will see. Okay. As you can see, it's very easy and so cute. So that's it. I hope that you like it. If you like it, you can check out my other tutorials and enjoy those tutorials as well. And see you then. Thank you and peace. Yeah.